Mr. Speaker, the United Nations fears South Sudan is imploding, but with so many competing crises around the world, it's getting scant media attention. Political divisions within South Sudan have resulted in heavy fighting and mass atrocities committed by rival pro and anti government forces, and ethnic mobilization threatens wider intercommunal violence. Communities face horrendous suffering, including disease and malnutrition. With the rainy season imminent, the desperate situation will only get worse. Life-saving supplies must be deployed to the hardest to reach in order to avert a humanitarian catastrophe. Airdrops are taking place now and famine is probable. The international community has a special obligation to South Sudan as it is a new young country. I urge this House to come together to encourage the international community to work toward a successful peace and reconciliation process and respond to the changing humanitarian needs in South Sudan.